some of the newer um, innovations that we have with spine surgery is that the problem with this rigidity is that it sometimes can cause the joints above and below to work harder. So the joints above and below, the discs above and below, can wear out quicker. And there are some studies which describe something called adjacent segment disease. So that rigidity can send forces above and below and it can potentially uh, accelerate degenerative disease at the other levels. So as an alternative to ACDF, there's a, an innovation called arthroplasty. Arthroplasty is a disc replacement. So instead of putting a rigid device in there that holds, that's held together with a plate that causes a fusion, what we do is we do that same decompression. Okay, so we do that same discectomy that we did before. And instead of putting a plate in there, So we've done the discectomy here, and the spinal cord has been decompressed, okay? But instead of putting a block of bone in a plate, what we do is we put in a, a type of a spacer that has sort of a, a ball on one side like this, okay, and it's metallic, and another one that has sort of a cup on this side, and it, and it basically comes in as one device just like this, and this sits there, and that ball uh, cup allows for motion forward and backward and these uh, devices are called arthroplasty devices so in this particular patient they still have the decompression uh, but instead of a fusion a device has been placed which allows for motion and so this is a typical one of these devices that we use the M6 device where we place it and you can see you saw the rigidity of the last spine you can see in this one there's movement back and forth with this device. So these types of devices allow for motion. And in patients that don't have significant arthritis, um, they may be a good option for people rather than having an anterior cervical discectomy infusion. There's a lot of data that we're still looking at. Uh, what's better long term? Some of the studies are suggesting that the arthroplasty in appropriate patients um, is actually better and has decreased incidence of adjacent segment disease. We don't have all the data in yet, but it is a device that's at least equivalent to the anterior cervical discectomy infusion.